Welcome to Replay Monday Quick Tip number two, how to avoid freezes and confusing cuts on air when you play back clips. On default settings in VMAX, if you click the play events button, two things will happen at zero in the countdown. Your replay A will pause and replay A, if it wasn't already in your output, will transition out of your output and something else will go in there. If you're just doing replay op work, then these are not ideal settings because they can cause what you saw freezing and unexpected transitions of content. And those will go onto air if your TD is even a hair late on getting off of your count. There are simple changes you can make to avoid both of these issues, but these issues are pretty closely intertwined, so you'll need to be careful. Here are my recommended changes. In your instant replay settings on the events tab, check continue playback after events have completed and uncheck play event button automatically transitions to output. And if you're using companion, do not use the play selected event to output action. Delete that. Instead, use a run custom command action with the replay play selected event shortcut function. To be extra safe, open up the input settings for replay A and uncheck the automatically play and automatically pause options for transitions. And after you make these changes, just make sure that you cut replay A into your main vMix output and leave it there forever. So now when you play out a clip and your count reaches zero, it will continue to play. This means that your TD has extra time to switch off of you without any risk of freezing or unexpected content transitioning in. There are other valid solutions for this, but I think the one I've shared here covers most people's usage for replay operating. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more of this, and as always, good luck out there.